London listed Europa Oil and Gas has just published a competent persons report, a CPR, on its Irish licence and it estimates the potential for around one and a half billion barrels of oil. Hugh Mackay is Chief Executive. He joins us now. Hugh, welcome. Good morning, Jeremy. First of all, uh, well, uh, congratulations on this because it seems like this takes the story in a lot. But first of all, I want to clarify. You've only got a 15% interest, or Europe has only got a 15% interest in this asset, hasn't it? That's correct. So we've got, across the three prospects in licence FEL 313, there are one and a half billion barrels of gross mean unrisked prospective resources. So our 15% share equates to 225 million barrels net to Europa unrisked uh, mean prospective resources. And were we to drill a well in this licence, don't forget that we've got a 15% carried interest. So for the first well in FEL 313, we're carried. We don't pay any of the well costs up to a cap of $110 million. And since we calculated that cap, rig rates uh, have fallen by approximately half. Let's just talk about the numbers. How real does this make the project now? It makes it very real. Perhaps if I tell you a little bit about the process, I was here in December after Cosmos released the prospect inventory. Uh, our, our intent then was to do a CPR, uh, which we've done with ERC Equipoise. Uh, in order to do that, we really had to own the data. So we've done our own prospect mapping. Uh, my geological and geophysical team have remapped the license, and we then handed it over to ERC, who have interpreted it again. So if you like, there have been three uh, cuts at this data and the, essentially three peer reviews. And what I can say is ERC have provided a lot of technical challenge. They've got a lot of experience of West Africa. They know Cretaceous fans. A lot of pushback, which is really good for us because these are numbers that we can really stand behind. This is a blue chip CPR. It will stand up to scrutiny by anyone. And I really do mean anyone. And I feel that investors should take some comfort now that these are that these are very solid numbers that, that we completely back both the prospective resources and the risks. But you've not released the report itself, have you? Why not? We're not going to release the report. There is an active license going on, licensing round going on on the Irish Atlantic margin. It closes in September. Uh, most of the companies who are looking at, at this at the licensing round have got the old 2D seismic. The 3D is night and day and we're, we're not going to provide, you know, dilute our competitive edge by, by leaking out information. And we've already seen ourselves, you know, seemingly innocuous slides that other companies and service companies have released have given us real insights and we're not prepared to do that while there's so much open acreage going in the Atlantic, in the Atlantic margin round. And the, the same applies to Cosmos. They're not going to start their farm out until the license round closes because what you'd be doing is providing complete access to competitors to your mm. 3D da database and giving them insights they would never have got otherwise. Mm. The other thing that you said, this is one license, isn't it? You've got two licenses here. What about the second license? Okay, the other license, FEL 213, is in the western part of the, uh, of the basin. Uh, in the course of our interpretation, we've uncovered other prospects at different stratigraphic levels that uh, Cosmos hadn't identified. So we're going to go back to the Cosmos of the operators. So we're going to go back to them with our technical insights and, uh, and, and work out how we take the new prospectivity in this license forward. And then we'll do a CPR on the whole lot. But rather than drip feed out you know, resources for FEL 213 in, in dribs and drabs, we're going to do it once and do it right. And, and that will be later on this year after we've had a, you know, technical review with the operator Cosmos. Mm. So, so what then, let's, let's, let's get the diary open and look at the stages then for the rest of this year. What should investors be um, aware of coming? Okay, well, in terms of what next, uh, in the very short term, I mean, normally Europa has typically done its own work on the value of the Irish assets and, and given the market an NPV 10 per barrel. That, um, that, that they can assign to, to the resources. And if you imagine, if you multiply 225 million net unrisked prospective resources, you can get a very large number. Uh, we're going to get ERC to calculate that number so that not only do the investors have a figure on resources that, and risk that, that we can stand behind, We'll also have that on value, and I hope to get that out towards the end of the month. Uh, 
the Cosmos Farm out, as I said, that's going to, that's going to start in September when the licence round closes. So we're doing a lot of work right now supporting that licence round and that closes in September and I hope that awards will be in the first half of 2016. Uh, and Cosmos have indicated that drilling might be in 2017 given that they're with the delay to the farm out process then they can drill in 2016. Uh, at Wrestle on Shore UK where we had a, made a discovery in August we completed a first initial testing program in March and we'll be about to commence an extended well test program uh, in, in Q2 this year. Egdon will be providing more details on that and our hope is is that in the first half of 2016 we'll have Wrestle on production and you know that's you know, potentially very exciting for us. It has the potential to, to substantially increase our, our production, uh, you know, possibly as much as double it. You know, we'll, we'll see what we get following the extended well test, but that's, uh, you know, we're going to try and take that forward as quickly as we can whilst we wait for the 14th round to be announced. Yeah, I mean, Wrestle has been almost um, overshadowed, really, hasn't it, by the developments in, in Porcupine Basin. I, 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 from an outsider's point of view, I guess that's the case. I mean, you, you, you talk earlier on about, about value, what it's going to bring to the company in terms of, of, of value for the business. Here we have Europa Oil & Gas, seven pence a share, 15, 16 million pound market cap. How do, how do you set one against the other with this large amount of oil that's, that's under the Irish Sea that EOG owns? Well, I, I, would, I would say that uh, the value of our Irish assets isn't reflected in our share price. Now, of course, I would say that, but I think now that we've got the CPR and risks and shortly to have values, then I think uh, the market will start to, to see the proof in that. I mean, assuming that Cosmos were to drill in both licences, the value of the carried work programme alone is... 20 million pounds uh, and the risk value of the total assets is probably 10 times that number. So we're not even close to the range that Ireland could be. But mm. I, I hope as time goes on that the, mar that the, the market has more confidence in, in our numbers and also you know, gets more clarity on Cosmos's drilling intent. Mm. Then we'll start to see more reflection of the value in Ireland. And but you're right, you know, we're almost a schizophrenic company. We've got, <laughs> you, know, res you know, reserves that we're going for onshore UK, which is sort of one, two, three million barrels, and Ireland, which is a thousand times mm. that. Mm. Um, and I, I can imagine that investors find it quite difficult to get their head around, yeah. you know, the the assets in the UK, which are important. Mm. Uh, we can. You know, we can operate them ourselves, we can bring on production ourselves, uh, they keep the scoreboard ticking over. Well, I was going to ask you, that's the next thing, of course, is you're getting this first quarter production expectations at Wrestle uh, next year. What's that going to do? Are investors going to get the benefit of that or are you going to start paying um, some of the costs for progressing the Porcupine license, the um, three licenses you've got here? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 more, the more production we have, the more we can invest in the rocks, the more the more technical work we can do. So any, you know, Europa will not be paying a dividend anytime soon. Any additional revenue we get will be investing in exploration, uh, and hopefully uh, in, later this year, I hope we'll have some 14th round onshore UK blocks to take forward. And in the first half of next year, I hope that we've got additional prospectivity onshore offshore Ireland, and uh, we'll try and keep both areas moving forward mm. as quickly as we can. Yeah. Do, you, um, do you have one eye over your shoulder for takeovers? I mean, do you have any approaches? Is it, are companies, do you think, going to be interested when the full realisation gets through in this Irish asset? Well, I feel we should be, but looking at our share price, I don't see a huge takeover mm. premium in it at the moment. But uh, I hope that now we've got, a lot of analysts don't believe your resources unless it's in a CPR. Mm. And I you hope that now we've got a CPR, yeah. We've done what we said we'd do. We said we'd get a CPR out in the first half of the year. We've done it. Yeah. Um, we will get the values out. So if analysts have got any concerns, well, the, re the resources sound really good, but what's the value? There'll be no excuses by the end of the month. Now, we can't. The markets, the markets are always right, and they will say what the share price is. But you know, we, we, we're, we're doing everything we can yeah. to, to provide a, a very full perspective on the risk and value of our Irish acreage. Um, and we will be doing a CPR in the rest of our portfolio as well uh, on, the UK, uh, on the UK assets uh, and that will be coming out uh, you know, uh, later on this year. 
Uh, but we felt it was very important to get the Irish yeah. ones out first because you know, they're going to dwarf mm. the UK. Mm. Well, we look um, forward to the news at the end of the month because clearly that could now be a, a company defining moment again. It could be. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm very sure it will be. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, Hugh, it's a pleasure. Thanks indeed for spending some time with us. Thank you very much. That's Hugh Mackay. He's the chief executive of Europa Oil and Gas.